Okay. No, they were recording. Good to go. Good to go. Okay. Hello again for the third time. <laughs> I'm Marissa Marsh. I am a self-love and mindset coach, and I am also a gold leader with Young Living. So that means I have been educating and have grown an amazing international team to pour education into all of my people, which are you guys, which is so much fun. So I just moved to Laconia, New Hampshire after spending about a year and a half traveling all over the world i spent a lot of time on the east coast i mean the west coast and then i also was in southeast asia for a while so i had a lot of fun traveling but i'm super grateful to actually have a place to unpack for a little bit um i've been using essential oils for seven years now and i first just used them for my own body i needed some support with my brain in school and then i actually had an injury where my previous career was actually a professional dancer and I got an injury that they told me that was my, the end of my career and I didn't like that. So I started using essential oils and supplements that are really just plant-based and super supportive to the body on a cellular level. And that's what turned this whole thing into what it is today. And I just love being able to teach people how to get some tools into their own tool belt that they can pull from all the time. So. My favorite essential oil is orange. That's what got me started. But I do love me some Indoflex. Like I said, I just put it on. It's a whole body just balancer and I really, really love it. So my co-host tonight is Susanna. She's a rock star and I'm gonna let you introduce yourself, Susanna. Hi guys, so I'm Susanna. Um, I am a star leader with Young Living. Um, I am an intuitive astrologer. Um, that is a, a term that I made up myself, but that's what I do. I do astrology um, charts for people, and I um, basically do help people figure out their why they are the way they are and how to capitalize on their strengths and um, just live, you know, their their fullest life. Um, and so I live in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, I've been using oils for seven years now as well. Um, Marissa's mom actually got me started. Um, the biggest reason I started using them is for emotional support. And so we're going to talk about a lot of that with the moon phases and that, how that all ties together. And I just really love when you tune in how, um, how everything just flows. Um, that, that's my, my favorite part. And my current favorite oil is sacred mountain. Um, it's just a blend of, um, I mean, it smells like a sacred mountain. <laughs> so, um, and so that's my favorite one. It's very just grounding and it's just like, we spent some time at, um, Marissa's family's cabin for our team retreat. And I just could not get enough of that oil. Like it was like addictive. So, um, Love it. I am super excited to be here tonight. Um, so I'm actually drinking some organic iced unsweetened black tea with bergamot in it. So bergamot is awesome um, when it's an Earl Grey tea. So it kind of helps us like at the end of the day when you need that little extra boost. So, and I'm also, I'm a diffusing Indoflex and I just applied Awaken a few minutes ago. <laughs> Love it. Love it. So thank you so much, everyone, for coming tonight. I really appreciate you just taking the time out of your night and coming and hanging out with us. So I'm super excited to see kind of how you guys learn about this stuff tonight. This is new to me, so I am super excited to bring this class to you. And most people have heard of the old belief that the full moon can make us act a little crazy, right? Like, I know I have totally heard people say that. So tonight we're going to talk about if there's any truth to that. And we're going to be really talking about how essential oils are going to be used within the moon phases and then some affirmations that you can kind of pair with all of this. But before we get started, let me just do some quick housekeeping rules. Um, if you feel like I'm talking in code at all throughout the class, that's because I am. The FDA has greatly limited and regulated what I am and am not allowed to say regarding these amazing essential oils. So I'm going to do my best to communicate as clearly and 
um, <laughs> just let you know what's going on. But if I mess up and say anything that's not compliant, please don't turn me into the FDA. Please do your research and know that I have done many, many hours of on it. Thank you. And okay, we're done with my TED talk. <laughs> um, so we're going to have some questions that at the end. So if you guys have any questions pop up, just save them to the end and you guys will be able to unmute yourself. As of right now, you're muted unless you're talking. And just so you know, if you do talk, you're going to be shown at the front of the screen and there's recording. So just wanted to let you know that. <laughs> um, so just to make sure you have something to write with, I always love just letting you guys know there's going to be things that are going to pop up. And if you need us to repeat anything, just raise your hand and be like, again, we need that again. That was amazing. So if we're really looking at the moon, if we talk about the science of how the gravitational pull of the moon and the water with the earth, that's what creates tides. So what I've learned about this shows that the new moon and the full moon, there's this strong tie and the pull is just really, really strong guys. And this is because the sun, the moon, and the earth all line up in a relatively straight line. And the sun's gravitational pull adds to the moon, which gets it the highest and the lowest tides. So that's kind of how it works on our body is there's just these pulls just with gravity really pulling us down to earth. There's other pulls that are going on. And that's kind of how the moon can affect us and work within our body. The other really cool thing is essential oils work within the body on a cellular level. So we actually use this really cool part of our brain. It's like in between our nose and our brain. It's called the olfactory. And as soon as you inhale essential oils, it goes directly to your brain. And the smell is one of the fastest scents that come to your brain. So it's faster than light or sound. So you using an essential oil that's really clean and pure can actually really support your brain and it just affects your brain faster than, like I said, light and sound. So that's like the quick sciencey version of what we're going to be talking about. But I'll let Susanna jump in and explain more of what I just said. <laughs> Marissa is definitely the science person and I'm the flowy astrology girl. So um, if we think about the fact that our bodies are mostly made of water, we can only wonder, could the moon be affecting us? So think about how the moon controls the tides in the ocean. Um, while the moon's magnetic effect is not creating a physical movement of water in our bodies, which I'm personally glad it's not doing <laughs> like it does with the ocean, um, it can be responsible for bringing some of those heightened emotions to the surface. So, um, and just a side note, in astrology, we like to associate water and water signs um, with emotions and that, so whenever the moon is in a water sign, I won't go into that tonight because I'll go on a tangent. Um, <laughs> but that's, you may feel more heightened emotions during those times as well. So, um, all the lunar phases represent some aspect of transition. So healing with the moon cycles helps us to make time to listen to our intuition. So it lets us dive, dive into the depths of what we need and let our inner wisdom speak to us. So it's a good, it's a good time to really get still and just calm your mind and see what comes in for you. So tune in, um, just listen inwards, um, on the new and full moon, especially if you want to go outside to make it even more of a special little time, then totally do that. Um, I like to go sit on, out on my patio during the full moon, which by the way, you guys, the moon is still full tonight. So perfect timing. Um, so when we, um, when we tune in, it's going to amplify our healing journey and our, deepen our connection um, to our body's wisdom. And then um, it really helps sync up. When we sync up with the planetary rhythms and how everything is really is going on, um, we can really get into a rhythm of self-care. So um, the essential oils can have a powerful healing effect and it gets amplified in highly energetic times like a full moon. So I encourage you to start inviting them into your full moon rituals, your daily meditations, um, or just your everyday home life routine. Um, whether you believe in the power of oils or not, try them and see if you notice a difference because I surely was like, what the heck is this? An oil? 
and now I'm obsessed. So <laughs> I seriously, they have changed so, so many things in my life for me. So, um, as we move through each of the phases, we can use the power of the essential oils to connect at a deeper level with the energy that is available to us at the time. It's going to change as we go through the phases. Um, the essential oils are potent not only when it comes to supporting our physical well-being, but also they are amazing um, energetic high vibrational tools that we can incorporate into our lives. They are all at a very high frequency um, and they they really affect us really nicely. So honoring the moon uh, reconnects us with Earth's rhythm, rhythms. You guys, I'm reading off my notes um, because I couldn't do this all off the top of my head. <laughs> and our natural cycles just reconnects us back with Mother Earth. Um, when we're in sync with nature, it's easier to listen to ourselves. So healing with the moon. You guys, I just read the same thing twice. First class, guys, first mistake. But aren't you glad I have notes? Because otherwise I would be rambling. Um, so tonight we're going to go over the, um, the lunar phases and the energy associated with each of the phases. Along with uh, Marissa's going to go and suggest some essential oils and affirmations to use with um, each phase. And she's really amazing at that. So the first phase that we're going to talk about is the new moon. So the energy of the new moon is new beginnings. So new moon, new beginnings. So the new moon is an amazing time for setting intentions. So what do you want to feel like going into the next cycle? Are there any new habits that you'd like to establish? Think of it like a new year's resolution that you get to do every single moon cycle. <laughs> so decide what actions that you need to incorporate with your intentions on the new moon and um, preferably write those down. Awesome. So the essential oils that I really love pairing with new beginnings, the main one that I'd love to talk about is abundance. If we think about abundance of gratitude, abundance of joy in our heart, abundance of happy surroundings. So the people that you have in your life, think of abundance as something that you're pulling into your life, many different things, instead of it just being a monetary value, you know? So abundance is a blend that we have that is just really great with connecting with new beginnings. Some other oils that I love to pair are cypress, lavender, bergamot, patchouli, and grapefruit. And the affirmation that I picked for new beginnings and our new moon is my world has an abundance of love, trust, and compassion. Awesome. So moving along, we're going to go to the waxing crescent. So when I learned the waxing, so there's waxing and waning. When I learned that, they taught me um, in school like in the karate kid where he's like wax on wax off, but instead it's wax on wane off. <laughs> so that's how we get to the full moon is waxing. So the waxing crescent is um, the next phase. So the energy of that is our intentions. So the waxing crescent is when it's time to put the actions that you wrote down with the intentions um, that you set in the, the new moon. It's time to put those into effect. So remember how we talked about it, the new moon as like a new year's resolution. So this is the time that you're going to start that new habit or whatever actions that you wrote down during the new moon to get that ball rolling. Love it. So the essential oil that I love to pair with the waxing crescent because we're setting intentions is rosemary. And this is really great for your brain actually. So rosemary is one that you can use quite often. Some other ones would be ginger, myrrh, cypress, lavender, or coriander. And the affirmation that I picked to go with setting intentions and actually doing them is I relax into my intention. I breathe. So again, that's I relax into my intention. I breathe. Awesome. So the next phase is the first quarter. So that's going to look like a half moon. So we're going to have two half moons in there. The second one is going to come later. Um, but it's actually a quarter of a moon because we can only see half of the moon. That's why they call it the quarter. That confused me for so long. Um, but the energy there is decision making. So I'm going to continue with the New Year's resolution comparison. If your New Year's resolution was to join the gym and start working out, this is equivalent to when February comes around. <laughs> So maybe even mid-January if you're me. <laughs> so this is when the original excitement 
kind of goes away and it's time to decide like, okay, I'm really going to do this thing. Um, and you're going to keep doing it. Right. Right. <laughs> Love it. So the essential oil that I love pairing with decision making is peppermint. And this is because it just really gets you going and excited to do some tasks and it gives you that energy. I currently put it on all day, every day during the summer because it also cools your body off. <laughs> so some other oils, <laughs> the other oils that I love pairing with decision making are rosemary, lemon, and wintergreen. And the affirmation I picked for this first quarter moon is I move towards my dreams with courage and creativity. Awesome. I love those affirmations. Um, so the next word this is the waxing gibbous. So the waxing gibbous kind of looks like it's almost a full moon, but there's like a little bit of a little chunk out of it. <laughs> so, um, the energy here is uh, refinement. So during this phase, we're gonna be reflecting on the current cycle so far. So have you made progress towards your goal? Are you putting the actions in place to align with your intention? Is there anything that needs to be tweaked or changed to help you better align with your intention? Um, and I, I'm saying align with your intention because sometimes it's not always a, I want to run a mile, or one, be able to run a 5K by the end of this time. Sometimes it's just an intention of, I want to feel a certain way. So um, when I say align with your intention, that's what I mean. So if, there is, if there's anything that needs to be tweaked or changed at this time, this is the time that you want to do that. Love it. So the essential oil that I want to pair with refinement is actually juniper and juniper is one of my absolutely favorite oils. I've actually named my business out of it. Um, juniper was the first essential oil that I saw being distilled at one of our farms and it was just the coolest experience ever. It's also really historically known for protecting yourself. So historically people would take juniper and bundle it together and hang it upside down on their front doors to protect them, which I thought was freaking fantastic because who doesn't love that idea? So other essential oils that I would love to use would be bergamot, thyme, copaiba, pine, and cedarwood. So you notice there all the tree oils that you want in there. The affirmation that I picked is my life is filled with love and joy and I attract everything I need. Awesome. And so now we're at the full moon. So the full moon, remember we're in a full moon right now. Um, so did the full moon energy actually lasts. You're going to feel it 48 hours before and after the moon is actually full. Um, so I'll save that nerdy explanation for another time. You're welcome. <laughs> so the energy here is release and sealing of your intention. So full moons are so powerful. The energy is so strong and people often feel a little wackadoodle or a lot. Um, the full moon is a time to release what no longer serves us or contributes to our, our intention. So think of it like you had a container that's just overflowing and there's things that you have got to take out of there because no, it's not all going to fit. So you, you have to take some things out. So, um, I encourage you on the full moon to journal what you're re releasing. Um, and you can even, um, burn the paper safely, please. Um, <laughs> or tear up the things that you wrote down that you're releasing as kind of a symbolic way to release that. Um, but also, um, remember to write down what you're embracing and seal your intentions that you wrote down in the new moon. Because whenever we release something, we want to, re we want to make sure that we're keeping the things that we do want. Um, so that not just anything can come in. Um, so yeah, releasing and sealing our intentions. So because the full moon and the en energy is actually released, we have a release blend and that's what I would pair with this. And I've been using it pretty consistently for the past couple of days. I'm doing this feelings kit protocol, which is like an emotional detox in a box of oils. And it's a 30 day protocol that I have going on with a few of our um, other community members. And I've been putting release on my liver and it's been crazy, the transformations that I've been having. Um, but definitely I highly recommend whenever you pair the moon with your oils, you definitely have to get some pen and paper out because it's so important to have that 
just as a way of releasing all of those things so you don't have them trapped in your body. So some other oils that I like to use would be cardamom, eucalyptus, myrrh, sandalwood, and alang-alang. Oh, alang-alang is like one of my favorites. It's so so good. I love it. Okay. So the affirmation is I am releasing all that is not aligned with my greatest and highest good. Awesome. So now we're entering into the waning phase. Um, so we're on the waning gibbous. So the waning gibbous is going to be like, like the waxing gibbous but flipped over. Um, <clears throat> so and it's not necessarily important to know what they look like, but I, I like to remember that. Um, <laughs> so the energy here is going to be gratitude. So when the, when the moon enters the waning phases, the energy is going to slowly become calmer the closer that we get to the new moon. So it's kind of like a roller coaster. We start out at the new moon and we go up and we hit the full moon and then we go back down towards the next new moon. Um, so we're still working towards our intention or goal that we set and we may hit some speed bumps because that's what happens when we set intentions and make goals. So it takes 21 days to establish a new habit. And I don't know that I've ever done, tried to start a new habit without <laughs> hitting any speed bumps along the way. So here is where we want to lean into gratitude. And if I didn't say the energy here is gratitude, 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 gratitude. <laughs> so we're going to lean into gratitude to keep our momentum going. So what are you grateful for? combat any resistance in your energy with stating what you're grateful for down to the smallest things. Like just start listing it out. Um, when you start feeling just beat down or anything like that, just start listing it out and you will be amazed at just the transformation that happens so quickly. So, um, but luckily the energy that's, that is in this full moon or in this full moon, this Wayne and Gibbous moon, is going to naturally encourage gratitude because that's the energy of the moon. So just tune in and let it happen. <laughs> Love that. Another thing that I like to do with gratitude is every time that I take off my glasses, I tell, my something, tell myself something I'm grateful for. Every time I put on my glasses, I tell myself something else I'm grateful for. So think about how many times you take on and off your glasses or put on your jewelry or maybe put some chapstick on, something like that, where you do it multiple times throughout the day. Just have that kind of set rule with yourself. I call them non-negotiables. And so you have this non-negotiable that you do every time that's just a reminder, oh, I'm grateful for you know what, breathing today. I'm grateful that I had this amazing cup of coffee. Like little things add up to become really big things because happiness is something that happens within. So you have to start within. So the oils that I love to use with gratitude, we have a gratitude blend. So this is just making my life so easy because we can really ground ourselves into gratitude when we're using this in a way where we're talking about positive intentions within our own body. So other ones I really like to use are frankincense, royal Hawaiian sandalwood, myrtle and citrus fresh citrus fresh is so freaking fantastic it's a blend of citrus and spearmint and it will really put you in such a fantastic mood so it's a great one i actually have it in my car diffuser usually <laughs> yes i love that one yeah so the affirmation is i remind myself that i must I remind myself that rest is just important as taking action. So reminding yourself that the little things are really important. Yes. So the next one is the third or last quarter. Um, so that's going to be another half moon, but the other way. Um, so the energy here is release. So the last quarter is going to be a time of release. There's going to be things that no longer serve us that we are going to release. But in, more importantly, there, the other aspect of release is that we're giving back because we, um, that state of gratitude in the waning give us phase sets us up for abundance. So we're going to be overflowing and we're in the perfect position to release or give back some of that abundance. Um, so there's plenty of joy and success to go around and it feels so amazing to share it with other people. Um, so we're, when we're in that phase, um, that is a great time to just embrace that. And like, how can I give back to my community, even in the smallest ways? Love it. So the essential oil that I wanted to pair is actually a new one that just came out. It's called One Heart. And this is a oil blend that we created to support our foundation, which helps so many kids across the world. 
and really just sends out um, support and tracks kids to make sure that they're safe um, from a young age. So that's really great. So one heart also brings one heart to yourself and just reminds you that we are all one and we are all connected and we are all can support each other if we just kind of put our hand out there and say, hello, like I'm here, I hear you. And that's what that blend is supposed to inspire inside of us. And I think that's just super important, especially nowadays when we all need to be connected just a little bit more. Yeah. So other oils that I love to use would be cardamom, peppermint, frankincense, fennel, sandalwood, and tangerine. And then the affirmation is now that I'm receiving, I give back from a place of abundance. Awesome. So our last phase before we make it to the next new moon is the waning crescent. So the energy here is surrender. So again, this is our last phase before the new moon. So at this point, we're going to have things and energies that we don't want to bring with us into the next moon cycle. So we're going to surrender those things. Um, and it's important to also forgive ourselves for either not making the progress that we wanted to make or for mistakes that we make because we all make mistakes and they help us grow. That's the most important thing is you grow from them. So um, surrender your intention and know that sometimes it takes more than one cycle to bring an intention to fruition. Like probably it always, it may always take more than one, but um, you can, you always refine it and you always get to start over. You get a new year's resolution every cycle. So um, the energy of that one is surrender. I love that. So the essential oil I want to pair with this is Envision. And this helps you really keep your vision in your forefront of your mind. Sometimes they just slip to the back and you have to bring it back forward. So Envision is a blend that is supportive for you to bringing that vision that's in the back of your mind to the forefront of your brain. And others I love to use frankincense, geranium, sage, basil, cinnamon, and lemon. If you notice, frankincense was on almost all of them. It's like amazing and does so many different things. So one bottle of frankincense can kind of solve all of these things that you need to work with. And then also it's just the intention that you're setting behind it. So the affirmation that I picked for this was I let go of the past and understand that mistakes are also growth. And I just love that because it's so true. Sometimes we get a little bit onto ourselves about not doing it in the time period that we thought was going to happen, but life kind of is a changing curveball at us all the time and it doesn't stop running so we got to make sure that we are letting go of the past and understanding that each mistake is a growth period and we can stand back up and try try again so using essential oils during the different moon phases helps to ignite your energy and gives you a boost physically and also emotionally the vibrational frequency of the essential oils have a powerful effect on our mind and emotions and are helpful to really support each of these lunar phases so the blends that i talked about can transition into a mental emotional energetic or spiritual level and just kind of help you guide with whatever intention that you're setting yes absolutely i love using the oils um, to help support my goals because a lot of them are mindset related and um, they've just been absolutely amazing in helping me in that area um also what has been awesome for me is tuning in to the moon and planning my months around the moon cycle so you can get there's apps you can download I'm, i'd be happy to like point you in the direction of um, where you can track the moon cycle so that you don't have to um look up in the sky and guess <laughs> um so i definitely have a lot of resources for that and you can plan so that things feel a lot more natural. You're not fighting in an uphill battle during this, um, during every month. So um, I've loved doing that. Um, and I also read astrology birth charts. So um, a birth chart is where I look at the sun, where the sun, moon, and the other planets were in the sky when you were born. And it helps you understand why you are the way you are. And it helps you capitalize on your strengths. So that's been so huge for me. It's also helped me um, understand my purpose and direction in life. Um, obviously, nothing is ever going to be set in stone, but when you have that north, well, it's called a north node, but I'm going to call it a north star right now. 
<laughs> when you have that North Star to follow, it just really helps you bring yourself back and know like, okay, I am on the right path. And so that's really helped me. Um, but in the birth chart, think of it like a personality test. That's super fine tuned to you because like I said, I am an intuitive astrologer. So when I do birth charts, they are specific to you as a human being. Um, I tune in and I tell, I tell the truth. So, and they're always beautiful. I've met so many, so many beautiful people, um, through this and, um, but yeah, so they help you understand how you process emotions, how you are motivated, which that really helped me to figure that out. Um, your communication style and then how to find your purpose and direction in life. There's also, it also will help you understand any habits or comfort zones you might want to watch out for falling back into. Um, and the oils are really great to support not falling back into those comfort zones or getting out of the comfort zones. And um, so that's a, a great way to incorporate them. But if you would like to schedule a reading with me, go ahead and pull out your phone and open Instagram and search at the salty phoenix salty as in like a salty cracker <laughs> or and then phoenix p-h-o-e-n-i-x like phoenix arizona or phoenix the bird um and shoot me a message so the salty phoenix and shoot me a message and we will schedule a time and i'm so glad that all of you got to join us tonight i had a blast thank you for um being on my very first class that i've ever taught Yay. <laughs> yeah so thank you everyone for coming tonight that's all of the details we're going to be throwing at you we're going to open up some questions if you guys have any questions with what to do but i just want to give you a quick rundown if you are new to essential oils we recommend you getting this one kit that kind of gives you an overall like here's support in several different things and also a lot of the oils we talked about tonight are in this one kit it's called a premium starter kit it also gives you access to all of our education and tons of tons of just support which is also amazing because you get a whole community to join that's international and there's just so much love going around with this so this kit is actually 60 percent off it comes with 12 essential oils a diffusers and some also some awesome other really cool samples and i would also recommend that you put this kit on essential rewards this is our loyalty free program that basically as soon as you grab this kit it's going to give you ten dollars back so that you can use that for free oils in the future so we will send you a link. Whoever invited you, go ahead and reach out to them after this. But I'm going to press stop on recording and then we'll get to questions. How does that sound? Awesome. Good. Okay. So,